Good morning from Europa Park in Germany where it's summer 2023 and we're here at one of our favourite parks in the world to get lots of rides in, bring you loads of POVs and all the latest updates from the one and only Europa Park. We absolutely love Europa Park. There are so many rides and attractions and shows for people to enjoy. It's not all about the coasters. Oh, it really is the full experience when you come here to Europa. We come all the time, we're annual pass holders. We came last at Christmas, had a brilliant time. And But you know what, let's come in the summer when we can have our shorts on. It's going to be lovely lovely and warm, sun beaming down, sun cream on, and the weather's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the weather's been absolutely terrible this morning, but you know what, it's supposed to be better now today as we take you along here at Europa Park with lots of on-ride footage and of course bring you all the latest updates for summer 2023. It's always great to be back, it really does feel like a home from home when you come here to Europa Park and walk in here through the German Alley. All the beautiful buildings, and that's the thing, there's so much here in terms of coasters, water rides, flat rides, and of course dark rides. That's something they've had a big focus on. And at the moment, they're currently building a new roller coaster set to open next year, 2024. And yeah, the coaster itself is actually completed now. They're working on all the theming around there. So whilst we're here this trip and in tomorrow's video, we're going to bring you a detailed construction update for the coaster that's expected to be called Voltron. It's all electricity themed and it looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, built by Mac Rides. And yeah, really excited for that next year. We're going to be here opening day for that one, which is going to be brilliant. But yeah, we're making our way here into Europa Park. It's all the little charming bits that make it as well. Got the little music boxes off to the side today. How nice is that? They've got the Swiss flag, so maybe it's some sort of Switzerland event today. And we're going to start off our day here in the French themed area with our first ride today. We're going to make our way onto Silver Star, the park's 2002. B&M Hypercoaster. We love this ride, don't we, Charlotte? It's my favourite coaster at the park. It's absolutely fantastic. The airtime on there is brilliant. And that's what we like. Good bit of airtime. Right, right on. Hey, you're a sat can, can coaster down there. Beautiful here in France. And yeah, there's Silver Star. Over at the back. Let's go and ride. It's going to be busy. It's summer holidays, but operations here. Some of the best, if not the best operations in the world. I'm really going to get to see that on a busy summer day. Even though it doesn't look like summer, it is. <laughs> Here we are! Hey! <laughs> Always good to see the staff up here on Silver Star. Oh, Manu, been here for years. Uh, there we go. Time to climb the lift hill. Hello! <laughs> Fantastic. Hey! Oh, it's always good to get back here. It's got a really friendly vibe as well, which is really nice. Climbing up the lift hill, we're on the back row. On Silver Star. Wish it was sunny, but we can't help the weather. We've got to make the most of it. Yeah, we're going to get some great airtime. Brilliant coaster, this is. Yeah, it's one that's really grown on me a lot over the years, you know. I do really like it. You need to get some cracking airtime. The first drop's not amazing, but you know what? It's still nearly 220 foot tall, which is fantastic. And yeah, great view from the BM Hyper. You ready, Charlotte? I love this coach. <laughs> hey. Oh, nice seeing Manu again. Great operations on here. We're 20 minutes this morning. Here we go. It was a little bit wet, but you know what? I enjoyed that there. Oh, I love Silver Star. Oh, that was great, that was. Silver Star. 
It's always great to start the day with a ride on the absolutely awesome Silver Star. I absolutely love Silver Star. The layout on there is fantastic. I love it every time I ride it. It's a great ride, and there's much better BM hyper coasters out there, in my opinion. However, it's them last three hills that really do it's it. Like I a love it. Out, you see? Oh, it is great. It really is. But uh, now it's nice to get back on there again. Shame about the weather. Well, I think we managed to avoid most of the rain when we were oh, on no, there. I just. can't believe this weather. It's <laughs> summer. It's pouring it down again now. We'll probably go on uh, Can Can Coaster maybe yeah, next door. Maybe so. uh, make the most of that with it being the indoor coaster here also in the French area. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be back here and of course bring all the latest updates for summer. We're also going to be coming back for Halloween this year. I have never been to the park during Halloween so I'm really excited for that. Yeah, we've got our annual passes so we thought we may as well pack another trip in. We came at Christmas last year on the pass, do a summer visit now and then Halloween. It means we've had three visits then out of the annual pass, more than worth the money. That is the beauty of this park. They've got so many attractions for when the weather is a little bit miserable. So we're going to head on the indoor roller coaster just here, Eurosat Can Can Coaster, all themed around the Moulin Rouge, as you can see from the red windmill that's out the front here. Another one that we absolutely enjoy. We love this so much. And that's the case with a lot of the rides in this park. Everything's just really enjoyable. 35 minute wait. It's also got single rider on here too. So yeah, we're going to give that a go, I think. Here we go, waited five minutes in single rider, and we're on. Both on the same train, I'm here, Charlotte's at the back. Absolutely brilliant, and yeah, good call there with the single rider. I mean, the main queue moves fast, but single was great there for us. Like five minutes, and we were straight on, and it was on the same train. Which oh, was fantastic. it's a brilliant coaster, though, isn't I it? I absolutely love that. The layout on there is brilliant. I love the bits of theming in there as well. It all adds to the nice package. Yeah, and you got the spiral lifter at the start going around the Eiffel Tower, which is quite oh, cool so as well. Cool. I love it. Yeah, it's a great ride. And you may have also noticed as well in that off-ride clip I did just at the station, you saw a train come through with VR headsets. That's actually Valerian. So that's an upcharge experience that you can do at the back of Can Can Coaster. You wouldn't even think it uses the same track, but it does. And yeah, what they actually do so they don't kind of slow down the operation, it's got a completely separate station area as well. We've done it before and it was so good. Yeah, really recommend it, 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 it is the best VR experience we've it done that. so good, we loved it. Nice brolly, Charlotte. Yeah, we went and bought this we got snoring just on here. Of course, the mascot there, Charlotte. The mascot of Rulantica, the water park here, though, only 2019. Ever, but we needed it to protect us from the rain. <laughs> Not done Rulantica for a couple of years. So looking forward to it. We're actually doing it this trip. Uh, and we've got a big update coming from Voltron as well, which is really That's exciting. Really All right, let's go and uh, get some more writing. Well, I can't believe this now. Just a few minutes later, rain stops, blue skies, and sunshine's coming out too. Beautiful. Yeah, I've just checked the weather app. Looking like it's going to be 23 degrees now this afternoon. Look at this though, it looks fantastic now. So it's been a two year project for Josefina here on the water. And yeah, they've actually replaced the boats now. And how good do they look? They've even got little tables on the back. Oh, this is so cute, isn't it? I love this concept. They've done a really good job. It used to be the old African rafts ride. Uh, they dropped that theme a couple of years ago because we're in Europa Park after all. Having like an African boat ride didn't really fit with the theme of the park with it all being European areas. And uh, yeah, this year they've got the new boats on here which do look fantastic. So we will have a ride on there later on. Oh, I love it here in the Minimoy's Kingdom. We've made our way over to Arthur. Mac Rice, Power Suspended Coaster. This is great fun. And yeah, now the rain stops. Even better, perfect. 25 minute advertised wait for Arthur. Let's go and ride. It is beautiful inside here, I love it. Arthur opened here at Europa Park back in 2014. And yeah, I'd love to see more of this ride system around. There is a fantastic version of this though. How to Train Your Dragon at Motion Gate Dubai. Yeah, hopefully get back out there soon. Go and give that a go. And yeah, there is a Jurassic World version that's opened at Universal Studios Beijing. I'd love to ride one day. 
And off we go on Arthur, waited less than five minutes in single rider. Magical. I'd have loved this when I was a kid. If only it was here. so much. Hey Charlotte, hey! <laughs> Brilliant. is one of the best family attractions in the world in my opinion. I love how it combines a roller coaster with a dark ride. It's got your slower, more story based scenes and then of course you've got the faster sections and coming out here over the river too which is beautiful isn't the it? The indoor sections on there are absolutely brilliant. They are so well themed. I just love all of them. It's brilliant. Yeah you've got the animatronics, the onboard soundtrack, the lighting. There's just so much going on in there. It's an overall great package. Yeah it is. Like a four minute experience as well and it really makes it for me how you come out and do this helix over the water. I think it's a really nice finale um, to the ride it really is and yeah like I say uh, in terms of operations on there fantastic we waited less than five minutes in single rider we were viewing the main queues they move so fast here constant trains look at that 40 second dispatches on Arthur um, constantly trains going around the circuit and that's the thing with it being a powered coaster it's got a continually moving station and that's great for throughputs there's just so much for everyone to enjoy at this park from the big thrill coasters to the more relaxing rides like the monorail that you can see over there. In fact, they've got two monorails at Europa Park. So many wonderful attractions. It's always a pleasure getting back here. It's one of my favorite parks in the world. And yeah, I love the new boats on here. We're gonna go and give them a go now. Josefina, let's go and experience it. Oh yes, look at this. Oh, this is 
so nice. I love it. You got a table, so you can bring your own food on a picnic if you're in your bag. You can go and buy food, bring it on. I love this concept. It's so good. Yeah, it's fantastic. They also do for like 50 euros where they'll bring like a picnic basket and you get two laps round as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, you're allowed to bring on your own food in your bag and eat it on the ride. Not very often parks encourage eating on rides, but here at Europa Park on this attraction, um, it is allowed. I did this. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we have lost a row when it comes to capacity, but still. How cute is this though? It is very nice. Like, they've done a good job. All the details on the boat just here. You've got the swans on the front. And yeah, like I say, it was a two year kind of project. They started it last year and still had the old African raft boats. They put a little bit of theming on them to make them fit in more um, with the kind of Austria area here. And yeah, it's very nice what they've done now. You also got the paddle steamer coming past here too. Yeah, that's been rethemed all to fit with Austria. So yeah, like I said, it was like a weird kind of African area which didn't fit with Europa Park. So I'm really pleased they've changed it and it's all Austria now around here, which is good to see. Now quite a lot of this theming was done for last year and yeah, what they actually did was covered all of this in grass and yeah, what they've done now is made it look a bit more permanent like actual buildings and a bridge crossing over. But it's much better. If you look at our vlog from Christmas, you'll see how it was before. That's much better now. I like how he's stuck in the hedge there and his feet are just coming out. Yeah, it's beautiful. Really nice filler attraction. The sun was shining. You can sit on that deck chair all day. <laughs> Maybe not that one. It's in the right area, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you got loads of nice seating areas too. There's something about this park that's just so special. Everything's just so well maintained and looks beautiful. Hello. Oh. You're on Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> Enjoying this shot. Oh, this is so cute and relaxing. What a fountain package. They've actually still got the control your own fountains for those of you wondering. Just over there, all those ones are controlled by a little operator's panel, which is just off the side of the pathway. Nice little interactive. It's got this nice little tunnel. A few scenes off to the right here too. Oh, I really like what they're doing with Josephine. It's great, isn't I it? I just think it's a really unique concept of having like your food on here, which is really good. It's great, and yeah, there's a food store right opposite, so you can grab that, bring it on, or if you brought your own food. Uh, fantastic how the tables are here. It's lovely, that is. And of course, if it's quiet, I'm sure they'll let you stay on if you wanted to go around such again. It's a nice concept. I love it. Yeah, it's fantastic. I've done a really good job with this now. It always looks kind of half finished last year, and they did say it was a two-year project. Um, personally, I would have preferred it if they just waited for this year and done it all together. But uh, yeah, at least they've done it. It's a really nice refresh oh, of this. Look fantastic. They've done such a good job. Fantastic. Really nice, relaxing attraction here on the lake at Europa Park. Lovely that was, really nice and relaxing. And over now, it's one of my favorite rides at the whole park, the absolutely awesome Pirates and Batavia. Oh, it's beautiful this is, it really is a great experience. The best dark ride in the park. Let's go and experience it. This queue line is so well themed. There's so much going on in here as well, which is fantastic. All the flickering lanterns. Yeah, it's been three years since Paris and Batavia reopened, of course. There was a terrible fire that completely destroyed it. And of course, there was another fire here at Europa Park this year, sadly. And we'll show you that area a little bit later on and talk a little bit about what they're doing. Summer pirates, like the dreadful Li Fu to contend with. Now, of course, we're here in Germany. However, Europa Park are now starting to actually add lots of dialogue in English in their attractions too, which makes it great for international visitors. Oh, these throughputs, just to come and see these operations again. Literally waited about two minutes around this corner and we're on the ride. Let's go. 
See the pirates. It is beautiful in here, isn't it? And this is where I wish that YouTube had smelly vision because the smell pods in here are just, oh, so good. The owner of Europa Park, the Roland Mac animatronic. What a legend. And there we go, Pirates of Batavia, beautiful. And yeah, the final part of the ride brings you to the restaurant just here. Where you can dine, watching all the boats pass by, which is really nice. It's an absolutely gorgeous attraction. All the scenes in there, the details, 
the music, the lighting, and of course the smells comes together in a brilliant overall package. One of my favourite dark rides, I love it so much. I've got a favourite scene in that ride. So there's like this little boat with a skeleton in it, and there's a crocodile, and it goes round on like this little ride system, and every time we go on, I get so excited to see it. We actually met the designer a few years ago, and uh, yeah, he told us how it's actually like a coaster in there. It's got a lift deal and everything, and it only dispatches every so often, so not every boat gets to see it. But yeah, we're quite lucky to get oh, it in there. I'm getting to see that, I'm getting so excited. So magical, yeah, it's a brilliant ride. They did a fantastic job with the rebuild of that a few years ago. It's gorgeous. I'm just round the corner now here into wonderful Scandinavia. All these buildings are great and yeah, they build back better at Europa Park after the fire. And that was the great thing, you know, all of this round here looks so much better than it did before. Even more details and all the buildings and facades. And yeah, sadly, they did have another fire here at Europa Park, this time in the Austrian area. And yeah, that's affected the power coaster, Alpen Express, and also the log flume as well. So yeah, hopefully they'll build back better and of course they'll be available again, probably from next year here at Europa Park. And right underneath the Scandinavia themed area is Snorri Touring just here. Yeah, this is all themed around the backstory for the water park, Rulantica. And yeah, like I say, we're going to be heading there during this trip to Europa Park and yeah, filming a vlog and bringing the latest updates because there's been loads of changes since last time we went to Rulantica, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. And we've waited five minutes and as you can see, you're sitting in a little dinghy on this one. Let's go. singing trolls in her very addictive song. <laughs> and there's Snorri, the mascot of the park. And there's Snorri, of course the mascot of the water park, Romantica. Enjoy Snorri Torin, a fantastic little dark ride. And yeah, a little bonus attraction that they added when they completely rebuilt Scandinavia over here. Really nice, and of course the backstory for the water park that's coming up in a couple of days. I have the umbrella to match. We have indeed. <laughs> Snorri, you like that, don't you? Oh, I love that. It's so much fun. It's just such a happy ride. Troll Town's probably my favourite in there though, which is great. Oh, big wave. Well, you know what? Weather's starting to clear up a bit now. So we're going on fjord rafting, one of the many water rides on offer here at Europa Park. Let's go and take you on. The POV, 10 minute wait, oh wow. <laughs> and also just to point out, if you saw our vlog from when we came to Europa Park at Christmas, this is the area where they had the ice skating. It looks completely different now, but they drain the lake, they take away the boats. This is all the skating ring and shops oh, down here. But it's crazy, you wouldn't think it. We are literally, this whole area transforms at Christmas. And check out our vlog if you haven't already seen it. Oh, there's blue fire. Oh, it's nice now, this is what we wanted. That's a great view, isn't it, of the big loop there over on Blue Fire Mega Coaster. And here we go, five minute wait, oh, straight in with it. Oh, it's straight in. 
Get your raft in, hey! Oh, fast one this is. Every time we've been on this, I've always got so <laughs> It's nice to have it open in the summer. That's the day at Christmas. Oh. There's a couple of bits that you don't get. This and that again, we'll head on there soon as well. Look at this. Whoa! Always running fast. Whoa! Hey. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, no. Look at him up there, Charlotte, trying to soak you. Him just there, he's coming for us. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Have you got any words for him, Charlotte? He needs to sort himself out. <laughs> What's he doing? Wise words. Look at him up there. He's got a beer, I think. Into the tunnel. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, look at this. Smoke, so many effects going on here. This is where you can get absolutely soaked as we make our way down here now. Oh, love the music. Oh, yeah. yeah, it can get quite rickety on this bit. Hey, <laughs> ready, Charlotte? No. Oh. Good. I think she's going to get it, but we'll find out. I think we might be safe. <laughs> oh! Oh, blimey! We're made seated. Like, oh. God. If you get in the current there, you've got to hold on on these. Bash it into the rocks. <laughs> you okay there, Charlotte? Okay. Yeah, you can really get it there sometimes. Well, there used to be a massive bite stick back there, but oh. <laughs> oh, look at these. Nice fish there. Fish supper. Is that it? No, we've got the big waterfalls, yeah. All these lovely buildings, so pretty. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> look at these waves. You don't see waves like this back home. Oh! Blimey! Massive waves, look at that. Uh, more waves in the ocean. <laughs> Waterfalls on round here. At least there's been a bit of a glimmer of hope for the rapids at Alton Towers, but you know, gradually getting a bit more. <laughs> these waterfalls are really good down here though. Look at these. Really nice. The good thing is all the water rides here, it's all nice clean filtered water. It's not dirty stuff. Blimey. You're right there. <laughs> Been bashed about, bashed and bruised. Here we go. Hey. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's the old rat fish. Oh! Enjoy that, Charlotte. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I'm not too bad. Yeah, yeah, we did all right there. Hey, <laughs> it was great fun, that. Loved it. Can't believe this weather now. It's cleared up beautifully. Look at that sky. Fantastic. And yeah, you can actually exit the rapids just by pulling yourself along this little boat if you want to as well. You just wait over there and come across over here. Can you imagine that back home? How was that for you, Charlotte? I didn't get too wet on there, actually. I got off quite lightly. Yeah, it was good, that. I enjoyed it. Great rapids. All the waves on there. There's effects everywhere. You just got to watch out like, everywhere. You don't know where you're going to get wet. Yeah, we did quite well there, actually. It was good fun. We're down here now in Iceland and it's time to ride on Blue Fire Mega Coaster. You would not think it was going to get out like this today. I'm really pleased that it has though. Of course, Volda and Timber Coaster over there too. Yeah, two fantastic thrill rides both next to each other. 25 minute advertised wait for Blue Fire. And yeah, you've got a nice little uh, advert for Rulantica down here too. I am very excited to get back in the water park. It is fantastic. Even got my little flippers down there. I've got some ready to go on, two pound from Primark. And there we go, I'll be in the rubber ring, hopefully in the sunshine. It's gonna be nice. Four train service on Blue Fire. We've waited 20 minutes, was advertised 25. And here we go. Love all the show scene. As we prepare to launch. Ready, Charlotte? I'm ready. Woo! Into the smoke. Oh no! What's happening? Woo! Oh, it's lush now. Into the overbank. Massive blue! Wow! Woo! 
transitions on here. Whoa! Sideways air time going up into the mid course. Really enjoyed that as always. Brilliant coaster. Blue Fire, look at them ops as well. Fantastic. What a different picture it is now compared to when we got here earlier oh, I on. I took my coat off, I don't need this brolly anymore. We might take Snorri back to the room. Yeah, drop him off. <laughs> Blue Fire was fantastic though there. Really enjoyed it. It's a great coaster, it really is. And yeah, it's what really started Mac trying new things with their bigger coasters. And yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. The launch on there has got quite a whip to it as well, which is fantastic. But for me, it's the big loop and also as well that final barrel roll, which are fantastic that on there. That final inversion is crazy on there. Yeah, it's amazing. Like with the lap bar, literally you just whip around it yeah it's a great coaster and the operations are always fantastic to watch on there as well it's got some good forces to it warms up a lot actually throughout the day um yeah it's a great ride i like the kind of interior section before the launch as well well there goes Foden, roaring around the track or oh, through the misters don't mind the misters now it's not raining let's go and have a ride here on the park's gci wooden roller coaster advertised wait time of 30 minutes well worth it. I love this little interaction between Woden and Blue Fire there too. Love the ambience of this indoor queue line here for Woden. Love how these are kind of holding up the ceiling to stop all the stones collapsing. We're we waiting 20 minutes there in the very well themed interior queue. For Voden Timber Coaster. Always love a good GCI pre drop. Get you in the mood for the rest of the layout. Here we go. Hey. Nice forces. Love the detailing on the station for Voden. And a great view of the skyline. And there's Voltron. So, yeah, tomorrow we'll have a brilliant and very exciting construction update coming for you. So, stay tuned for that. Going to have a good detailed look at the new coaster for 2024. Which we're really excited for. Atlantic Super Splash down there. Probably head on there next. And here we go on Bowden. Oh, hey, hey. the brakes there, oh, don't what you? A fantastic ride, that cannon. Oh, well done, <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. It always delivers every time. Bowden is absolutely incredible. One of the best wooden roller coasters out there, in my opinion. It's just so fast. It's relentless from start to finish oh, that it ride. Takes your breath away. You come into the brake one and you're like, it's just so fast. <laughs> you just need a minute at the end, don't you? Like, oh, oh. what a great ride. It's fantastic. The first drop's really big as well on there. So and then you kind of come up into this top section and then drop down underneath the pathway and it Brilliant. builds up the speed That's really well. Great. I mean, it rides great wherever you are, but yeah, down near the front, you're pushed into the hills. Obviously at the back, you get more of a whip on there. But yeah, it's a fantastic ride, it really is. Yeah, you may also have noticed they've actually added some more sound barriers on the top just there, just to try and keep the sound uh, more inside the park, of course. Um, yeah, you've got uh, whale watching just here as well, whale adventures. Wanna go and have a ride on here? And have a bit of a soaking when you come. I say a bit of a soaking. They took away all the guns around the side because I know we're in Germany and the weather normally doesn't get that hot here. Um, so it actually makes it rideable. A lot of people weren't riding it. So they thought we'll take the guns off the side. So really now it's just a battle between the two boats on there. And it's got a little bit of theming actually um, inside, which is really nice. A couple of big whale animatronics. I do like how you've actually got the fishermen 
in the front there as well, which is fantastic. Here in the Iceland themed area, yeah, we're going to take a right and we're going to head round towards Atlantica Superspice, which is one of two water coasters that they've got here. This is another one that's closed if you come over Christmas for the winter season. So yeah, it's always nice to get back on it here in the summer. I love this view, Bowden coming over and Atlantica coming down the drop. That was good timing. Hey, Atlantica Super Splash. Yeah, it's kind of a ride on here. Looking forward to this, Charlotte. I'm getting my coat ready for this one. You don't normally get too wet on here, though. I get a bit scared of this because it drops so big. Yeah, and it looks like it's a massive wave. But, but... you don't really get too wet on here, but I'll be putting my coat on just in case. <laughs> yeah, it more comes out to the side on here. And yeah, at Christmas, this is where the big Ferris wheel was right here. And for some of the actually bring in a high dive show as well, which is good. Just a nice little bonus. Yeah, let's go and have a ride on Atlantica Super Splash. Doesn't look too busy. And that's the great thing about Europa Park. If you want to just come and chill on the beach, you can do. Just in summer, of course, they put the little beach in here, which is nice to see. Let's go and have a ride on Atlantica Super Splash. And here we go. We're waiting about 15 minutes there. But Atlantica Super Splash. You also get a great view of the hotel resort just over there. Castillo Alcazar. Balrock over in the distance. And yeah, you can see Rulantica over there too and Cronus Hotel. That's the thing with Europa, it's the full resort that you do get here. Not just the park. Let's make our way onto this first section, the turntable. Oh, there's Coliseo over there. It's nice little upsell for the hotels when you come on this, isn't it? And you see them all over at the side. Beautiful, and yeah, a lot of these rooms offer park views as well, which is fantastic. We're in Germany. Onto the turntable. Ready for the backwards drop. And of course, shortly we'll be heading down that way. <laughs> Here we go. Hey. So this is just for fun. <laughs> Whoa! No water involved in that one. There is in the next one though. Here's Charlotte that's over here. <laughs> what was that then? You're right, you got your hands all up just here. There you go. We're on the back road, so it should be all right for you. Onto the turntable, what a great view. Woden looking epic. Yeah, oh, it's riding so good. <laughs> Here we go, shouldn't be too bad this. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Just a sprinkle. <laughs> Not too bad. Are you all right? Yay! She loves it. Fantastic. And there you go. That's just how wet you get. You expect to get a lot wetter, don't you, or something like that? I'm not that wet at all. Oh, so I'm getting uh, caught in this nest here. Oh, you in oh, net. oh my God. That's how I've been caught. Help me! <laughs> and there's another look at Atlantica Super Splash. This time, we're up here on the massive boat. Yeah, this bar is back open. It's had a refurbishment, they've redone it all, which is good to see. You've actually got an animatronic that climbs up over there. And yeah, literally, you've got a bar, you've got this top seating and also downstairs too. And yeah, it's really nice on here. Yeah, I'm glad they've refurbished it. It's been closed for quite a few years. Let's look over the hotels. Yeah, you've got the bar area and lots of seating down there. That's the thing with Europa Park. They've got so many nice little bars and restaurants inside the park, which is great. Over here now into Spain, and there's a poster for the new coast of the next year. Welcome to the Electric Age, coming 2024. Really excited, and yeah, we'll have a full update tomorrow here on the channel. Now, I mentioned earlier on in the vlog how earlier this year, sadly, there was another fire here at Europa Park. And yeah, this time it was in the Austria area of the park, so just on the back of the Spanish area here. And yeah, unfortunately, it caused a lot of damage to Alpen Express, which is the power coaster here, and also the Tiroler Wild Wazaban, which is the log flume there. Both of those attractions remain closed at the moment. And yet you also had the walkthrough diamond mine that was here too, caused a lot of damage. They've actually pulled the whole building down now and they are gonna be completely rebuilding that. It also caused a bit of damage to the back of the Spanish buildings here. Um, but as you can see, it's not really causing too much disruption in the park. Um, but yeah, that is being rebuilt. And I imagine that'll be ready again for next year. And the Spanish area of the park is wonderful to walk around. Something that Europa Park do really well is all the flooring as well. It's like around here, they're like all the cobbles, which really adds to the experience. 
Like you're walking around the actual Spanish streets. Very nice. Of course, you've got lots of different family flat rides here at the park. And yeah, one of my favorites is inside this building here in Spain. Christopher Columbus. There he is. That's nice Atlanta Matronic out the front. So let's go have a ride on here. It's great, this is. And we've walked straight on there, Charlotte. Ahoy there. <laughs> All the shutters come down. The projections come on. Hey. Yeah, what's good about this one? You can control if you want to go forwards or backwards yourself using this wheel. Bye, Charlotte. <laughs> hey. yep. Yeah, projections, lighting, audio. Fountain package in the middle. Time to do a flat ride. So many fillers like this, you just never queue for as well. Walk straight on. <laughs> we like this a lot, don't we? <laughs> yeah, you literally stay sideways if you want to. You can't normally do that on these, but hey, you can on this one. It is more comfortable. Woo! <laughs> yeah, press the button, you can fire the cannon off. Oh! Stormy! <laughs> oh, the fire effects around the side. <laughs> like all the walls crumbling. Fantastic. How was your ride there, Charlotte? Hi. I absolutely love Columbus Dinghy, but I like to go to the side because then I can see everything that's going on. <laughs> Fantastic it's that so is. It's so much fun, it's, I love it. You got the way swinger attraction just over there too? And yeah, just around here I thought I'd show you Ed Euromaus yeah. in the Tirola Wild Wazaban boats. And yeah, none of this was affected by the fire around here at the front, luckily. I'm so glad it didn't spread any further this way. But yeah, they put Ed just in there, and I believe that translates to we're rebuilding this attraction. So yeah, it's nice to see um, that Ed's got his little construction hat on, and yeah, I'm sure this will be back next year. And of course, if you come to Europa Park, you don't even have to go on any rides if you don't want to. You've got loads of lovely areas just to relax. You've got lots of entertainment here at the park. And yes, to enjoy the landscape. And I mean, look at all these lovely floral displays. Each season's very different here. And Charlotte's really going to see that for the first time this year. Because we came at Christmas. Now you're seeing summer, which you have seen before. And then Halloween. Oh, I can't wait to see it at Halloween. See all the pumpkins. Yeah, it's like Christmas. We walk down here and it's full of trees. Now you've got all the flowers. In a couple of months' time, pumpkins and corn. I love that. And I love corn. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of sweet corn. You'll be eating it off the lamppost when like, we're walking around. <laughs> we're going to head down to one of our favourites now, and that is Euromere, just down in this direction. Yeah, we do know that Euromere is going to be having some sort of refurbishment in the near future. I'd imagine once Voltron's opened, and yeah, kind of the hype's died down a little bit from that, we'll see Euromere close for a big transformation. The park have said that it's going to be one of the next projects that they do here, because um, a lot of people find it quite rough. Myself, I quite enjoy it, but uh, you know me, I like an intense ride. <laughs> oh, food loop up there too. The original roller coaster restaurant. Buckley, I reckon, is down in Switzerland because we found out on Instagram that it's like a Swiss day today, and that's why we saw a bit of extra entertainment earlier down at the front of the park. Yeah, let's go and head over on to Euromia. We've got a 15 minute advertised wait. For Project Euromere, let's go. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and of course, the question is when the refurbishment does happen to Euromere, what are they going to do to the soundtrack? They best not change it, I'll be gutted if we lose this. <laughs> I can't see your head, Charlotte. I can just see your top light and the UV lights. It's so old school Europa in here, but I do love it. Let's go and ride. Oh, here we go, we waited 10 minutes. These operations, amazing. Ready for a journey into space, Charlotte? Yeah, I'm ready. A big green track is made by Mac. A big green track is made by Mac. We're nearly at the top of the spiral lift. And we're gonna go outside in a second. And I can't wait for my ride on your Let's go and ride. Oh, here we go. Should get a great view of Voltron from up here. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> Voltron. Wow, look at that. It is absolutely massive. 
It really is. All the theme in the working on now. Track's been complete for a while, as us. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's a beast. It goes all the way back down there. It's a big ride, massive ride for Europa Park. We'll be my 10th year of coming next year as well, so what a way to celebrate. Oh, that looks it so does. Good. That vertical launch as well, right at the start out of the station, literally launching upwards and over. It's going to be fantastic. Are you all right there? It's going to get intense, this is. <laughs> I like it down here at the back. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it looks incredible, the new ride. Ooh. Yeah, we're going down the big drop backwards. Then we'll spin. So we go forwards later. Here we go. Intense. Whoa! Oh, wow! Oh, spin round. Hey! It's almost grey out on there, honestly. Hey! Woo! <laughs> oh, what a ride. Woo! Oh, yes. Woo! Here we go. Hey! This is where we're going backwards, it's really forceful. Oh! <laughs> I love it. Woo! <laughs> That's got some pretty sharp brakes. Hold on. Oh! Project Euromare, what a ride. Euromare is fantastic. It's really forceful, especially them latter sections of the layout. But I do have a soft spot for it, I really like it. And yeah, hopefully when they do the retracking or whatever the project's going to entail, um, they'll keep that intensity on there because it is fantastic. It's not for everyone though, is it Charlotte? I'm not a huge fan, I just find it really intense. It's very forceful that ride, very aggressive brakes at the end. But uh, you know what, it's always good getting back on there. Should we go on the interactive dart ride now? Yes, so I can beat you. Hey, Atlantis Adventure, let's go. Walk straight on. And yeah, if you've been to any of the Disney parks, this is basically Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast. Same ride system with the guns just here, and yeah, you can turn the vehicle using the little joystick. That's really good. Fantastic score there from Charlotte. That was one of the best scores I've ever got on there. Yeah, on any of them interactive shooters, I, I think. Did so well. It's because I wasn't shooting, you see, giving oh, you all the targets. The excuses. So, that's why. I tell you what, though, I love how I can just walk on stuff like that. Like all the years I've been coming here, nine years, I've never seen that with the queue. And that's the case with a lot of rides here. We've got that much capacity in this park. Even if you're coming in peak summer season, you get so much done. I mean, look at us today, how much we've we got have in. Got on so much today, it's been brilliant. Fantastic, and we've still got three hours left. I mean, ride close today, seven o'clock. They always advertise in summer season that it'll be a minimum of six, and then they'll extend depending on crowd levels and weather and that sort of thing. Today, one hour extension till seven o'clock. Yesterday, when we first got here, it was extended till eight. Uh, fantastic, you know, so it all depends on the crowd levels, but operations, you can always rely on Europa Park. It's been like that for the nine years I've been coming. Never had a poor visit here. Operations were always incredible. This is one of the most beautiful attractions in summer. Poseidon, the water coaster here. Yes, they have got two. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, I love this. Yeah, they paint it up each year as well to keep it looking fresh. Normally gets very busy, this one. More popular than Atlantica. However, 
Yeah, if you look over the top there, there's nobody waiting, which means it's probably less than 20 minutes and it's all inside. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go and give this a go now. And you've also got Pegasus down here at the back. So what I'd normally do is walk down this way because it's a one-way path. Do Pegasus first and then we'll uh, go on Poseidon. So yeah, we'll give that a try. Right down here at the back of the Greek themed area, a lot of the time you wouldn't even know it was here. Pegasus, little Mac Young star coaster, 10 minute wait on a two train service. Let's go and then we'll get on Poseidon. Wait five minutes for Pegasus. And there is the Pegasus on the front of the train. Massive, if you sit in the front you don't see a lot. <laughs> you want to be a bit further back. They're on this one, the Young Star Coaster. Yeah, right underneath Poseidon. Sometimes you're on this ride and think, oh, it's raining, well, it's just water dripping yeah, off I the just boat. Had a little bit of yeah. water. <laughs> oh, look at Voltron from here. Wow. There's that first inversion, the vertical oh, launch. Oh, really excited for that next year. Oh, what a view of it from here on the skyline. Fantastic, Europa Park. Let's go, Pegasus! Hey! Woo! Love that overbank turn! <laughs> hey! Helix! 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 Woo! <laughs> that little hill takes you by surprise now. Always gets you. Hey! And into the brakes! Really fun little ride that is, it's nice. The fact the weather's been poor today has definitely put people off. I mean, in the summer, you'd be waiting all the way down here normally. This does get busy. Fast moving with the great ops, but yeah, it's weird being here in the summer and not seeing all this fun. We've waited just five minutes here for Poseidon and we're in the station. Fantastic, look at the theming in here. And yeah, Halloween, we'll see this transformed into a nightclub after park close for the Vampire Club. Very excited for that, not done it for years. Lots of fantastic scenery to look at. A little flash. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> summer special. <laughs> oh, you're all right, are you there? Yeah, I'm like, you wouldn't dare get me. There we go. That's how I felt after Port Ventura's operations a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> what a fantastic view. So, yeah, Can Can Coast, we went on earlier, is in the big ball. Not a spaceship Earth. The main drop, we don't get a lot. That is the one way you get it. Sun's come out though on cue. Just climbed up the other lift hill. Fantastic view. And here we go. Oh! Air time. That was good. You don't get that much on that one. Oh, look at that. You do. Somebody could be squirting with the dolphins. Like that man, oh no, I think he's not gonna, we're, we're okay, woo! <laughs> Fantastic ride there over on Poseidon, and yeah, each year keeping it looking fresh around here, which I really appreciate. Brilliant ride that. <laughs> you are quite wet, not the normal overreaction. Oh, fantastic. I know what will dry you out though, Charlotte. Cassandra! Hey, little Mac Rides Madhouse just around here. So yeah, we'll give this a go right next door. So yeah, you're best doing it in that little order. Go to the back, Pegasus, come down through Poseidon, and then you exit to Cassandra. Three rides in like 15, 20 minutes you can do. It's great. Oh, very well themed in here. Let's get them right, straight on. Oh, they're a good crowd pleaser on the Madhouse. What are they 
do like about Cassandra is that it's no messing about, straight in onto the ride itself. Yeah, the pre-show on there was never anything great, and yeah, I think that's why they don't really use it anymore. You're literally um, straight onto the ride. But yeah, I do prefer the Comas versions. However, I do still like Cassandra. Soundtrack's good on there, isn't it? Yeah, it was quite good fun. I found it quite trippy because the room seems a bit smaller. Yeah, quite a lot smaller yeah. than the Comas, actually. Look at this, the Swiss festival that they've got going on at the moment. <laughs> As you can see with all the nice extra Swiss theming around, yeah, you've got like wooden crafts and lots of extra bits. That's the thing, they really celebrate all the different themed areas. Of course, all the countries that Europa Park's based on. Look at this big horn. How awesome is that? Now, I've been coming here for nine years and something that I've really noticed about Europa Park is that they don't like to remove rides or when they do, they normally put them into a different area. That's exactly what's happened with the balloons here. Because they're currently building the new roller coaster for next year, and they've actually moved the balloons into this new little area just over here, just off on the side of England. And they've made a small little themed area out of it based on Liechtenstein just here, as you can see from this in the floor. And yeah, the nice new lamppost they've put down here and a relocation of the balloons. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that down here. Uh, they've moved them to this location because literally they've built the new coaster up on that site. And yeah, they fit in quite nice here. I think maybe I would have themed them to the UK and they would have been quite nice added on to the England area here. However, um, yeah, they've decided to go for a small little themed area, Liechtenstein, the 16th themed area. But literally, it's that ride and this square only at the moment. Right, so I think <laughs> yeah. Just the there, yeah, it would have been I mean, maybe there's future plans for this part of the park, you know, and add more into Liechtenstein. But yeah, here it is. Yeah, it's quite nice what they've done. Just thought we'd get that in. Volo da Vinci up there in the Italian themed area. And yeah, it's always good coming down to the Italian section a little bit later on in the day. And also the French area, because they're a bit quieter than they are in the morning, because they're very close to the main entrance, which of course is Germany, as we're in Germany itself. Uh, all these rides do get much busier on the morning. And yeah, quieter on an afternoon. The same goes for Can Can Coast, just over there. But we're gonna have some pizza now, just over here. And uh, yeah, then we'll take you on uh, Geiserschloss, which is the ghost castle. So we've got Mario's Pizzeria just over there, where it's four euro seventy for a slice of pizza. Are the best pizzas you'll ever have. You like these, they don't you? They are so good. Well, I've never tried one of these from here before. I've got back into my pizza a lot, ladies. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. I'll let you know my thoughts. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> oh that pizza was very nice. I did enjoy it. I'd certainly have one of those again. From down in the Italy-themed area. Yeah, we just thought we'd jump on the train first. Have a bit of a lap round. Let the food settle. We're not showing you any of the transport rides today, so thought we'd jump on this. Yeah, we'll do Geiser Sloss and we've got time for some more rides. Just really showing you how much you can do in one day here at Europa Park. So many smaller rides as well around this park. Of course, you've got the whole island area over there, which is designed with the children in mind. There's a little tractor ride, you've got the dancing dinghy over there. Lots of other nice little rides. And welcome to England. Crazy taxis just over there. The London Taxi Company. England. And you've also got the bus just over there as well if you want to tour around London. Next station, England. Oh, <laughs> that's a cute little ride, the Alf ride. Just leaving the Spanish station here now on our tour round here on the railway. Oh, I could have been you earlier, Charlotte. Oh my God. That, oh, that was a lot, that. Nächste Haltestelle, Russland. Prochaine Halle, Station Russe. Next station, Russia. Hey! Oh! Charlotte's 
everyone's favourite mascot. We'll have to try and catch him. And here we are, back down to the main entrance of the park. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see around Europa Park. Look at these just here walking around. What a cool outfit. <laughs> We're making our way now. Down to the one and only Geisha Slavs. Do you enjoy the train there? I loved it and we got so broccoli while we was on Oh, there. you keep calling him broccoli. It's broccoli. broccoli. Not broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> Here we go. It's going to make our way inside. Just a one minute wait. So, can you wait that long? Oh, he squirted. It's summer. He could get you. Oh, we're past. Out of the stretching room, past the chandelier, let's go and ride. Oh, this scene is beautiful. I love this part. So much going on in some of these scenes. It's like, where do you look? Of course, one of Europa Park's rides, very much inspired by the Disney Park. It's such a Europa Park classic. There's lots going on in the scenes in there. And you know what? I do really enjoy it. I got wet in there. There was some like goblin gorgo thing that <laughs> squirted water and it went all down my leg. Oh, it is fantastic. I think he's one of those that probably will undergo a refurbishment at some point in the future. And when they do that, I'd like to see them make it even longer, you know, to I be know, honest. I know, that's the thing. The scenes, there's so much going on. It's hard to take it all in. Yeah, it would be nice to see the scenes spread out a bit more. I mean, they've got space at the back there. They took out the 4D cinema to expand the show building and make it massive. I'd love to see them do that in the future uh, but it's a proper nostalgic trip going oh, on that ride I love it. yeah proper ep classic <laughs> just thought we're coming to borrow da vinci here now it's only got a five minute wait look at all this in it look at all this currency we've got united arab emirates dirhams we've got polish swati there also charlotte the currency expert there let's go and ride and here we go waited five minutes yeah it's always a good one to do in the afternoon because it gets very busy on a morning when people are walking into the park you got the nice little boat ride down there too. That's the thing, there's so many rides at this park. And of course today we're just trying to pack in as much as we can do, show you how much you can do in one day at Europa Park. I like how the top spins round on this as well. That <laughs> makes it. Well, vintage cars down there too. Nobody waiting, walk on. Oh, this weather's beautiful now. Perfect. Didn't think I'd be ending the day in my shorts. I'll tell you that. Another little ride down here too. So much here for kids and families. So if you are a family coming to Europa Park, yeah, so much for the little ones. Of course, you've got the Euro Tower there as well, the Observation Tower. And yeah, we've got just under an hour left until the park closes. So we're going to get some more rides in.
Little dark ride just around here in Italy. Piccolo Mondo. We like this one. <laughs> hey, Charlie doing a nice little dance for Piccolo Mondo. Another walk on ride. That's the thing, so many filler rides you can just walk on. A lot of the time they just look like buildings out the front, but now they've got rides and attractions in. Let's go and do it. Oh, we love this. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at the little animatronics. There. Oh. Very romantic when you come down into this section. Feeling the romance because we love all of our viewers. Thank you so much for watching and joining us. Oh, he's all muddy down there. Look at him. Well, I hope it's mud. <laughs> Ciao, That's my pizza. Oh, nice, that was. Thank you. Pizza. A little Venetian carnival. That's it, that's the ride. Lovely. That's the thing, I love how they just keep these little classics. Uh... Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Nice little ride that is, and the soundtrack makes it as well. And what I love with your over part, because they barely remove things, and when they do the relocate, means when you fall in love with something here, like you know that it's probably going to stay for a very, very long time. It's great, it really oh, is. So good, I love that ride. Yeah, and the park's nearly 50 years old, and they've barely removed anything, which is great. They just keep plussing and adding to the park. That's how you end up with all these rides and themed areas, and such a great variety of attractions for everyone. Back down into Switzerland now, on Swiss Day. Well, we just keep on riding here at Europa Park. We're going on Schweizer Bobon just here now. Let's go and give this a go. We're waiting about 10 minutes there for Schweizer Bobon. Not the most exciting one of these, however, the prototype. Yeah, it's always nice to ride the original. I like all the little Swiss buildings more than anything down there. How pretty is that? Really nice. Voltron. <laughs> And there's the Matt Horn Blitz, we'll go on there next, can we get a wave? Nothing, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Basically like this, you drop down and then you're straight into a block section. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Here we go! Hey! Oh! We're down the back as well. You get a bit more whip at the back. Oh! Helix! 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 There was a goat there. Woo! There we go. Yeah, it's not the best one that. However, you know, it's another ride here at the park. It's got the longest run off. Yeah, the runoff just lasts forever all down here. Boy, it runs like five trains, so I don't mind. Keeps the throughputs good. It's still a nice ride to get on when coming to Europa Park, and this whole area is lovely around here, isn't it? I really it? like that ride. I think it's really good fun. You enjoy it, don't you? <laughs> Another little stream just down here, too. We're going to give area. you a Bockley update. He's gone. Oh. He's we saw him on the train. We thought we'll come down here and see if we can spot him, but no Bockley around. This is his area as well. He's the Swiss mascot. You having fun there sliding up that pole, sir? <laughs> We're going on Matterhorn Blitz now, just down here. Yeah, advertised wait time of 15 minutes. <laughs> you get some funny little animatronics here in the queue line as well. It's always good to see. That's going right. In we go with the chickens. Yeah, it doesn't start off with a normal lift still. You actually go up in a lift just here. What takes you all the way up? Love the soundtrack for this one too. I tell you what, what an action packed bumper blog we're having today here from Europa Park. Doors closed. And up we go. <laughs> ah, we made it. Oh, another Voltron update for you. Look at that. And we'll have a mega update tomorrow. Any trains going around on the bobsleigh? Get away from this angle. Oh, here we go. Can we get one? Hey, front row. Any more? Come on. Hey. I'll take that. Here we go. Got a case of the Matterhorn Blitz. Here we go. This is it. Big drop. Whoa! Woo! 
A lot of the time you go on these, they're very heavily trimmed. Well, this one just done nicely as you get around the corner. It's, oh, Charlotte. Oh! Oh! Always make some funny noises on these. Oh! Yeah, they trim too much, some of them. This is just nice. Oh! You coming for me? Oh, no! Well, that's it. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Woo! Oh crikey! Oh! Oh! Head chopper! Oh! The blitz! Oh my god! Like it's gonna come off! Oh! Oh, it's good that! Fantastic, these Mac Wild Mouse. If you've never done it before, go on Wild Mouse XXL at Winter Wonderland. Very similar to this. Oh, fantastic that, really good air time. Yeah, getting around the corners, brilliant. And here we're coming towards the end of this action-packed bumper vlog here from Europa Park. We're going on to Madame Fraud and Rice. Curiosity is just here now. We love this dark ride. And there she is, all of her crazy dinosaurs. Look at her. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is quite a cute little idea. Obviously, this animatronic must not be working right at the moment. So what they've done is lying on a little pillow just there, and he's asleep. Oh, yeah, normally it moves around. Oh, there you go, they put a little sign saying that he's asleep. Oh, I'm sure they'll have it fixed soon. Cooking for us. <laughs> oh, and he's having a bath in the sink. <laughs> so, if you're wondering what's going on in this ride, basically, this lovely old lady that we saw at the entrance, and yeah, she has all these dinosaurs in a garden, and yeah, celebrating the birthdays and having like dinosaur parties. Very interesting theme, but you know why it works. I love it. It's adorable that ride, isn't it? Oh, everybody just loves it. I absolutely love that. There was just so much going on, it's so cute. It's really nice. And yeah, I'm sure they'll get that dinosaur fixed again. We'll have to see when we come back at Halloween if he's done or not. Uh, well, here we go. We're gonna end our day at Europa Park on Euro Tower, which is the observation tower just here, so we can get a nice aerial view of everything we've experienced today. Perfect timing, it's just coming down. <laughs> Oh, it's actually really nice ending in the day coming on here, looking over the park and seeing all the things that we've seen, but also seeing parts that we've not covered in this vlog. There's so much to see and do here. And yeah, we normally film a day one and a day two, but we thought this time, and with us being here at Christmas and coming back at Halloween, we just kind of do one day here and show you how much you can pack into one day in this park. A little bit different than what we'd normally film. And of course, we've got Voltron coming up tomorrow. And then Rulantica. <laughs> What a beautiful park. And that's the town of Rust off to the left. Look at the Voltron construction site from up here. Fantastic. Wow. That looks awesome on the skyline, doesn't it? And yeah, it's going to be a full new themed area, Croatia, when it opens at Europa Park next year. What a beautiful day. A wonderful relaxing ride there on Euro Tower to end a very busy day for us here, but not so much a busy day for the park, has it Mary? It's been great, hasn't it? Yes, Sean, I've absolutely loved it. Oh, thank you. Isn't it always nice to see Mary it's down nice here? To see Mary. Oh, it wouldn't be a visit to Europa Park without coming to see her and the beautiful Castle Balthazar just there at the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Mary even gets a cuddle from Charlotte just there. 
to bring us to the end of a magical day here at Germany's biggest theme park. Now, of course, we've been lucky enough to visit so many different theme parks throughout 2023. We've had a brilliant year. However, I always look forward to coming back to what is my favorite theme park in the world, Europa Park. I couldn't agree more. I absolutely love this park. The amount of rides that they've got, you can go from ride to ride to ride all day. We have done like over 30 rides yeah. today. It's been fantastic. Yeah, even in this last hour, we've got like five or six rides and it's been brilliant. It really has. Uh, I've loved it here. Operations are always phenomenal. It's the best operated theme park that I've ever seen in 30 years uh, and I think you know it's always going to be like that nine years are coming here for me now and uh, you know every time the operations are just brilliant which is great to see and like Charlotte said it's the variety of attractions here there's just so many you've got your dark rides you've got your filler rides you've got your flat rides you've got your coasters there is something for everybody at this park and something we've not covered today is like some of the other flat rides a lot of the transports some other attractions they've got a couple of the smaller dark rides uh, along with that of course um, there's just so much here for everyone to enjoy and that's what I love about this park um, it's not just your big coasters, it really is so many other fantastic attractions. There's no other part with a lineup like this. Along with that, of course, there's no fast track service here, no paid fast track. They do a small virtual line uh, that is free uh, and that just flows in a few people, uh, but it doesn't affect the operations and it's completely free of charge. We've not actually used that at all though today. No, we've not. Last time we did come, we did use it, but we haven't used it because the queues yeah. haven't been that bad. Single rider, of course, has been great today. That's on a lot of the main attractions here, but overall, what a park. I always struggle to pick a favorite here. It's more the overall package but Voden and Silver Star are right up there yeah, aren't they? they are some of my favourites I just absolutely love them but I've got so many favourites from Dark Rides there's so much going on at this park we love it yeah we haven't even watched any of the shows today which is unlike us I mean we're going to have a couple of days off camera here now just to really soak it up and actually have a proper summer holiday <laughs> hence why we thought we'll just do one day's vlog this time and put it all into a bumper long vlog like look at this it's a long one for you today longest vlog on the channel for a while uh, we just thought we'd show you how much you can do in one day instead of taking it slower and spreading it over a couple let's really show you how much you can do in one day at this park um, and it shows for you all. i tell you what though as well, um, they've got some brilliant rides here, however I'm absolutely beyond excited for the new coaster next year, Voltron, it's it going to be great. It looks absolutely fantastic, seeing it in person I didn't realise how long that layout was going to be, it looks massive. Action packed and that's a perfect place to leave this vlog because the next video on the channel tomorrow we're going to have a good detailed look at it, talk about the facts, the figures, look at the animated POV and renderings and of course get up close and personal and see this ride for the first time in person having a good look at it so that's coming up and we're also heading to Rulantica the big water park here and uh, bringing you all the latest up there too but uh, it's going to be absolutely awesome still so much to come here from our favourite park in the world we love it uh, but here from Europa that leaves me one final thing to say get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you tomorrow